Hello Wolfpack, this is video number 103. In this video, I'd like to discuss my recent EDC purchases. Uh, I'll be talking specifically about a comparison between the Vanquest EDC M Slim 2.0. This is the label that came with it. Uh, and I'll be comparing that to the Maxpedition uh, beefy pocket organizer. Uh, when I was collecting these pouches to be com uh, compared against each other, I had a bit of difficulty um, in selecting. The reason being is that the Vanquest Slim, uh, EDC Slim, not the, and this is something that I have to point out. Vanquest has two ranges. One is the PPM and the other is the EDCM, right? So be careful because when, if I was just to say to you, listen, I'm comparing the slim of the Vanquest, that would be incorrect because there's two types of slim. You've got the EDC M slim, which is this one, and then you've got the PPM, which is a personal pocket uh, management. So it's a, it's a smaller pouch and you can see that in one of my previous videos. But with that, if you compare, when I was selecting these pouches, when I was trying to figure out which one to compare, um, the dimensions of length and width were exactly the same compared to the beefy, but the depth was a lot thicker. For the um, Maxpedition EDC, EDC pouch, which can be seen here, um, this one was a closer fit to it, but I didn't do it simply because height and width were not quite the same, um, but the depth was. So uh, the reason why I didn't do the, um, the Vanquest versus the DCM is because I did this in my previous video, and if you want, you can go see that and compare it that way. Um, what I will do though at the end is just a brief visual um, comparison just just to make sure that as many comparisons has been done in the one video so we'll start off um, we'll overlay the pouches so on the top you've got the Vanquest and on the bottom you've got the Maxpedition uh, as mentioned they are almost identical on length and width but depth uh, the Maxpedition is uh, bigger you can see this uh, larger area down here a lot lot deeper compared to the Vanquest one which is uh, very very slim uh, on the front of the pouches uh, they're almost identical you've got your velcro or hook and loop. You've got your front slip pouch, which I've said many times in many other videos that I uh, used to think that these were useless, but I do have found some purposes for them, so it's not completely useless. Personally, I don't like them as such, and I don't really use them except for storing the labels. Um, one has the see-through mesh, so the Max Edition has a see-through mesh, whereas the Vanquest doesn't. Uh, for the front of that, that's almost exactly the same. Um, you've got your logo. Both have YKK zippers, uh, but there is a difference on this zipper, on these two zippers. Now, the difference is the following. Um, on the Maxpedition, which is the back one, you've got no lock. There's no lock feature here. Now, on the Vanquest, you have this little ability to lock your case. Now, I don't think that's gonna keep anyone out for very long if they really want into it, but it's a nice, um, it's a nice little feature, that locking, or oh, that, that ability to lock the zippers. I thought that was really well thought of. Now, one thing I have noticed, and I don't know whether this this might not apply actually. In my, one of my previous videos, I pointed out how there was double stitching here. Now you can't actually see the double stitching here, but that might be because it's on the inside. Now let's take a look. Okay, so this has double stitching, as you can see. 
and this doesn't. So this only has single stitching, which I find incredible because I've always known Maxpedition to have double stitching most, mostly everywhere, or at least heavy duty stitching. It may not need it, I don't know. Um, so that's very interesting, I just found that out. See, when you do these um, reviews online, Wolfpack, you, you learn more. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this, is because it's one thing to buy gear, it's another thing to play with it, mess around with it, but it's another whole matter when you educate someone on it, or you try to share your knowledge, because the more you share, the more you learn, because you go and um, really get in depth. So I was very happy about that. That's a little bit of a reward that I didn't wasn't expecting this morning. Uh, so exactly the same on the front, as you can see. Now I'll go into the pa pouch themselves. I'll keep the VanQuest on the right to do the left-hand side of the pouch. So the VanQuest is in the orange and the Maxpedition is in the gray. I'll start with the Maxpedition. Um, you've got a D-ring on the lanyard with a little hook up here. You've got a slip pocket at the back. Right, nothing. Um, in there at the moment. You've got two straps here for the Maxpedition. You've got uh, on the first strap, you've got one, two, and three slots to hold things, and one, two, three, four, five, six on the top strap. So you can hold six additional items. I'm not going to try and highlight them with my finger because it's just, it's going to take too long. Uh, there's no strap at the bottom, it's just plain. For the VanQuest, You've got two uh, loops up here. You've got a slip pouch. So almost exactly the same as the slip pouch on both of them. And a hook on the top. The only difference between the two of them is this one has a D-ring. I don't like this because it's not uh, detachable. And I find when I'm uh, watching a lot of videos on YouTube is that a lot of people cut it off. And I think that that wrecks a perfectly good pouch when a slight design change would allow you something like this, you know, um, which is a detachable key ring, uh, detachable lanyard, but I'll get to that in a moment. So you've got, uh, so as I mentioned, you've got your flap, uh, your slip pouch, and then below you've got two straps. You've got one, two, three, exactly the same as the Maxpedition, and on the top strap, you've got one, two, three, four, five. So you've got one less in the VanQuest. So um, here, compared to the six across here. You've also got one, two, three, four. You've got a strap down the bottom, which can hold four additional items, or if you've got long items, it will pin it down. Uh, so primarily the difference on between these two is the lanyard, uh, the one less on the top, the one less strap holder, but you've got a whole additional strap. So you've literally got three more. I know that there's four there, but if you count them all together, you've got three more. Uh, on the right, uh, we'll go to the middle. The middle of the pouch. Now, for the Maxpedition one, you have a strap. No, no grommet hole. Um, but you do have a strap and you can hold something in there. So that's not, that's pretty cool. Um, no strap here. With that though, that is a bit of an unfair comparison, I have to be honest with you, simply because this pouch, the Maxpedition, is deeper, as mentioned earlier in the video, and that's where they were able to fit that in. Um, but that comes with not having equivalent product or being the closest comparison. Now I'll swap sides and I'll put the VanQuest on the left and the Maxpedition on the right. Once again, the orange is the VanQuest and the Maxpedition is the gray. Big significant differences in this. Um, I'll start off, you've got your, you got one loop at the top with a detachable key ring or lanyard, which I thought is absolutely brilliant. Whoever thought of that at VanQuest had a brain in his head. Can't say that enough in my videos. You've got a slip pouch, and you've got two straps. Uh, one, two, three, 
and then one, two, three, four, five on the top. You've got an additional strap down the bottom where you can um, hold three items. Now, one thing that I haven't pointed out, which is important, you'll see on the Maxpedition, see how they're all straight? Um, you, the stitching is in line with each other. Whereas on the Vanquest, um, they're staggered, so they're, they're alternate. Um, that's very important because you can't, for me anyway, because I can, I tend to find that more stuff fits into this. Uh, for the right hand side of the Maxpedition, they've actually turned it side on and I hate that. I can't, I really, really just don't like that. I know why it's done, I understand why it's done. And I can even justify it and say, yeah, you can get away with that. But I just, I personally, it's just a preference for me that I just don't like it. You can fit two large items into uh, the, the bottom strap. And on the top strap, you can fit four items. Also, there is a zipper. A zip behind where you can put items and zip it up. Um... I'm not quite sure what to uh, say about that because I see the value in that, but I just don't like it. It's it's like as a uh, as a person who doesn't drive trucks, I I see the value in them, but for me personally, living in the suburbs, I wouldn't drive a ten-ton truck around. So um, yeah, with that, I'll move on. Um, there's other than that, that's the visual difference. If you want to see. On the back, you've got two straps. Now on the right is the Maxpedition, and on the left is the Vanquest. If you want to tell the difference between Vanquest and Maxpedition, uh, what I've come to find, and this may not always be uh, the truth, but it seems to work for me, is that the strap on the Vanquest is always stitched. I don't know whether you guys can see that. Whereas the Maxpedition has no stitching. Uh, the Maxpedition has box stitching here with crosses, whereas the Vanquest doesn't. It's just two, two strong stitches there. Molly webbing for both. And I still don't know what this is. No one's been able to tell me. Um, then again, I haven't gone looking in depth for what these two items at the bottom are. Um, and that's that's about it for the, for the overall... Um, fitting of the case, or pouches rather. Uh, practicality, um, they're about the same. Uh, it appears that more can fit into the Vanquest. As I've said before in my previous videos, I love the way the Vanquest are uh, designed, um, but with Maxpedition, I love the materials that they use. There, there is definitely a different feel to it. Um, I don't know whether that makes one better or the other, uh, I can't tell you that because I haven't used them for a long time and I'm not that good with uh, materials, but it just, to me, it feels better. Um, I'll give you guys some measurements. So Maxpedition, uh, Vanquest on top, Maxpedition on the bottom. So. So roughly the can size. Now, if you want more specific sizes, if you want exact sizes, go to their websites and grab it off the official website. Um, if you want specifics from me, I, I don't really like giving measurements um, because you can get the official ones from the website. What I prefer is uh, real world examples to compare it to. So I can say, oh, I know roughly how big you know an item is and I can compare it to that. So this is a 425 gram can of beans. This is how it compares, roughly. Um, there are specific videos on each of these pouches, which I have done uh, the measurements. Um, so if you are looking for that, measure it against the note. So, God save the Queen. And, um, just gives you a rough idea of the size dimensions. 
Now, what I'll do is, I'll now compare the VanQuest, the EDCM Slim, against the Maxpedition EDCM. Um, it won't be an in-depth review, but it will give you a rough idea. So, just shy of, just, just shy of uh, length, and width is just shy of. So about a finger's width there and about a thumb's width uh, length. Back is pretty much standard as in the other comparison, almost identical. VanQuest on the right, Maxpedition on the left. Inside, um, oh, depth, almost identical. Once again, um, as I found out in my previous video, zippers are covered in the VanQuest, whereas in the Maxpedition they're not. Internally, now, before I go on, I'll just make sure that this is the right one. So, EDCM Pocket Organizer from Maxpedition. Inside, here's a comparison difference. So, on the left, uh, for the Maxpedition, it's almost identical to the last one, to the beefy, except the, the lanyard's a little bit um, smaller. No middle strap, and on the right it is uh, it hasn't been turned side on, so you've got you've got a strap here and a strap here. Uh, you can fit less in the Max Edition simply because there's two items here and three items in this one. Um, other than that, it's it's almost identical. You, I won't go to, into it too deep, but here's the hook. Whereas this one has a hook as well. Um, they're primarily exactly the same. Uh, as mentioned, I didn't do a direct comparison of the VanQuest PP, uh, EDC M7 versus the Maxpedition because uh, I, did a, I did a comparison in my previous video. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. I did want to do a shout out to Lucifer who put a comment on my thread about eating my beans. Since you asked, I will eat um, this can of beans one day, uh, simply because you asked, but not at the moment um, because I want to get the uh, I want to get the comparisons completed in videos and can't do that if I've got no beans. Okay. Uh, Respect who you are, respect where you've come from, uh, advance Australia Fair, respect, honour and pride the Wolfpack, and I'll see you around Wolfpack. Okay, good luck, bye.